Judy, when Chicago police found numerous guns at a mass shooting crime scene in late March, it led authorities to what they now call a soldier's gun pipeline from Fort Campbell in Kentucky. At least 90 guns sold, according to federal law enforcement. And now tonight, authorities revealing that the three soldiers charged were investing their gun profits to recruit other Army service members into the scheme. Call us, say 15 to 20 shots fired. There are people running on the street. It was a pop-up party in a storefront in memory of a victim of gun violence. Dozens of shots here that left one dead and seven wounded. Police and federal firearms agents found guns on the scene that were traced by the ATF lab to recent purchases in Clarksville, Tennessee area gun stores. And authorities say traced to three soldiers stationed here at Fort Campbell, home of the famous 101st Airborne Division Screaming Eagles. Tonight, this man, 22-year-old Brandon Miller, described as a leader of the conspiracy to funnel guns to Chicago, where authorities today said he has connections. During a court hearing in Nashville late this afternoon, prosecutors revealed that Miller, Demarcus Adams, and Jarius Brunson used proceeds from dozens of illegal gun sales to recruit three additional soldiers into the scheme. The guns, many listed as 9mm Glocks, were sold at a 60% markup for $1,700 per pistol during sales to Chicago gun buyers between September 2019 and last month. It was also revealed during the court hearing that Miller is currently facing an Army court-martial on sexual assault charges. Authorities tonight say text messages between the soldiers and Chicago gun buyers back up the scheme and that the Army service members personally made trips to Chicago to deliver the illicit weapons. It hasn't been revealed who was actually buying the guns on the Chicago end of the deals or what connection there may be to the one man charged in the mass shooting case. He was wounded and found with a gun, according to Chicago police. A detention hearing set to continue at this hour in Nashville for Miller, who is described as a flight risk. But the big news from there tonight is that additional soldiers are said to have been involved.